I got him this brand new. <laughs> I can wait. Okay, it is just after dawn on a Friday morning. We have to get up early on a Friday because um, it's the only day that children, we have two children away in some form of childcare. Um, to put that in context, that means even forgetting holidays, that's 52 days a year when we are child free in order to really get on with something. <laughs> and today, I was up a bit later than I should have been. I wanted to be out here much earlier, but uh, there was, it was a fairly sleepless night. Um, and so what I really, really, really want to get on with is doing the plastering. We reached the point where we were so disorganised last night that we realised we didn't have the right pigments that we decided to use. But we have a friend staying and they have offered to go and pick up some more because everything is not just popping down the road here. Everything takes several hours to go and get. And so before our friend gets up, I would like to test the colours again because we do have one pigment, but this one we, we bought in bulk because um, we were going to use it on the cistern, which you will see footage of soon. So we have bulk of this one. It's one of those times where I'm hoping I don't mix the plaster in my tea because I'm a bit tired. <laughs> One of the problems in here is that you keep thinking, oh, I've nearly finished when you do a big job like that. And then, this is what made me think of it, you realise you've got all those tiny, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly jobs, like filling holes in the, in the woodwork and painting tiny bits that were missed on the ceiling or trying, I want to try and fill in the gaps between the plasterboard on the ceiling and the walls. <laughs> and you just think, wow, that's weeks of work as well. quite dark but I want to see the um, the real tint of it when it's done the reaction with that um, I can always mix a lighter one and then I want to see what it looks like if it's warmed up a tiny bit with the pink one and if you want to see the episodes where we tested all of these pigments, um, I can link to that in the description way back last year. We debated a lot about whether to leave this wall white. And um, I think neither of us were sure. And then I decided <laughs> that I didn't want it white because um, I think it makes, I was talking with our visiting friend Dave who um, said, you know, you want a bedroom to feel warm and the white would be very, very cold. Coming in here. Yeah, I mean, at first glance, I do not like that at all, but it's a lot better when it's warmed up with that, with the pink in it. A lot better. <clears throat> and then diluted, that one's more diluted. But we'll see when they warm up. I might go and put them by the fire to 
hurry that process along. Okay, that should dry them nicely and quickly. Uh, I've managed to dry them pretty quickly on the stove. I'm going to get Mark's opinion in a minute on which ones he likes. Yeah, I mean, obviously the dark one's too dark. And the other one does still look a little bit like something that came out the wrong end of an animal. I just want to compare it to the tabac. We've been unable to find... Apparently the people we thought were stocking these um, aren't, so we, we can't get the old one. And that's the difference. That's the tabac and that's the ochre marron. You see it's a lot less pink. Um, but adding pink in does take us to a very, very similar colour, I think. Oh, it's you! <laughs> I thought it was a peacock trying to get in. <laughs> I don't know who did this wonderful work, but I absolutely love it. Mm. I'm not kidding you. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it, and I'm very proud of you. Um, I want to show yeah. you my paint, my plaster samples. They're all the same colour. <laughs> not quite. This is actually very close to the tabac. Yeah. <laughs> a tiny mm. bit pinker. Have a look over here. Um, will you manage to reproduce the amounts? I, I will do once we find one we like. But look, that's very, yeah, very similar. Uh, yeah. But it's actually got a slightly warmer tone. So I think we'll be absolutely yeah. fine with that. Well, the point of today is to try those two tops of triangles, isn't it? So that we can then decide, um, we need to. We'll probably need to order more pigment anyway. Do you want to do the mix and? Uh, yeah, I do the and I'll hand it up to you. Okay. So let's clear up and uh, and protect the floor. One for wiping up bits that fall, and yeah. one for dose uh, for using as the dosing. Perfect. Thing. And try not to make too much work. Yeah, right. You're the messiest plasterer. Do you want? Um, do you want do you, to do it? No. Do you want any masking tape to cover up? No. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to put any other clothes on so you don't wreck your nice jeans and your brand yeah, new jumper? I want because I'm a very clean plaster. I got him this. I got him this brand new. I can wait. <laughs> what are you doing, by the way? I'm cutting a bit of food to put up there. Where? Oh, oh, at the base? Yeah, where do you do the mixing? I bought him a brand new jumper for Christmas. That's a bugger. <laughs> I'm serious. Are you doing the, the mixing? I will do once you put something out, a different jumper on because I it's don't need the a very expensive and um, very good jumper. Yeah, it's really warm. <sighs> and the shirt is your best shirt as well, and they're nice trousers. Go on. Uh, okay, I just finished cutting my piece of food. Okay. Because it's, it's you that complains <coughs> that you've never got anything nice to wear when we go out. Not that we have to go out, but. Oh, 
the reference point I have is what I made this morning, which we actually decided we liked the proportions of. Um, because I did it in such small quantities, I can't replicate it exactly on a larger scale, but I've got the visual of it that's not dry. That's what I'm gonna do my best. With my breezy pencil. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Might want to do the um, mixing, mixing outside. outside. Yeah, yeah, I'm just measuring in yeah. here. Yeah, we'll see when what they... What do you think? Well, yeah. It's a bit thick to me, no? Mm, mm, no, it's quite good. No, I don't want it too liquid, otherwise it drips. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to do this indoors. <laughs> Yeah, you're only going to have two of those buckets okay. today. And uh, next week I can order some more. Okay. Um, just to give you an idea of, um, yep. if you want to finish. I can add that in, but it yeah. will mean that the next one won't be quite the same shade. It would be nearly the... Do you think? It, yeah, yeah. I'll spread it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it won't make a big difference. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. <sighs>
I broke the light bulb and uh, when I moved the scaffolding, I couldn't see it. So I'll need to get another one. But I'd like to finish before the, at least this bit before it sets. Oh, look at you. How does it look? Hold on, let me put the drinks down and then I'll tell you. Oh no, you're gonna have to start again. Oh no. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really dark for the moment, but. Um... Yeah, because I broke a light bulb. What? It's you because broke... I broke a light bulb when I moved the scaffolding. No, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> the, the tint looks dark. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Which, oh, that one, oh, I see. And I broke that one, but I switched it over. Switched yeah. the... It looks really nice. Yeah, I like the finish you're doing on it as well. Are you sure you don't want me to get any other lights? Uh, yeah, uh, another light bulb would be useful. Yeah, I tell you what, I like the one in the, um, I like the finish up here in this triangle. Top Which right, one? The top right triangle. I'd say this one's a tiny bit too rough. Okay. And just needs a bit more smoothing out. Now it's all over the floor. Um, we've decided, seeing as there was a little bit more than we needed and Mark started plastering here, that we're just going to go for it and mix up all the rest that we have that we can with the pigment that we've got and see how far we can go. The original idea had been just to do the top, see what it looks like and if we need to make any slight adjustments, like making it lighter, lower down, then we'd carry on but we're going to be daredevils and just do it. Because the problem is, now we've put some on this wall, if we then do any changes, it's just going to look wrong. Um, and so, yeah, we're just going to trust our instincts. I'm just going to check how much of the pink I've got, because that's the crucial bit that dictates how much more we can mix up. I need four to make the same amount again. A touch over five, which means I need to increase everything else by 25%. <clears throat> okay. It's way below freezing right now. <laughs> my eye that looks like a different colour and I would have it shows me how important it is to um, just follow the exact quantities because I would have added loads more water and and uh, in fact as I mixed it got back to the right colour so hopefully I can trust my calculations <laughs> I had to increase everything by 1.25% because I had a bit of extra pink and I want to try and give Mark the chance to do the whole wall. It's going to be close, but he might manage it. Now, I just need to find Mark. From this bit, I've realized there's a little crack on the plasterboard that uh, has appeared. So I need to, um, 
to put some tape to make sure it's, uh, it doesn't uh, show once it's plastered. So normally I should put some uh, plasterboard glue to do that, but I'm gonna try with the, doing it directly in the plaster. Mm -hmm. 